Okay, today I wanted to show you some of the uh, 3D graphing capabilities of Curve Expert. And uh, right now it's a, it is in 2D mode, as you can see from the preview plot. And if I look at a plot here, I also have a 2D plot. The main way you can uh, look and see is here in the status bar, it's in 2D mode. It shows you here kind of in the bottom right hand area. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is put this software in uh, 3D mode. You can either do that by reading in a 3D data set or we'll do what, we'll, uh, what I'm about to do which is to create a new data set with three columns. Okay, um, So you can see there's three columns of data here even though there's nothing there yet and there's a preview uh, pane here that shows your 3D plot and now every plot that is shown in the um, graphs and data pane is also a 3D uh, plot. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to go over with you is uh, mouse transformations. Um, so the first thing that normally you would want to do is just change the viewing angle. So if we click and hold the left button, okay, and drag it around, you can see how the viewing angle changes. And also the axes do their best to stay out of your way, um, out of your uh, line of vision, basically, um, as you change your own viewing angle. Um, there's really not that much to this. Just uh, click and drag the left mouse. Um, the uh, middle mouse is basically a zoom operation. If there was data here, you can see how the uh, axis limits are changing. Okay, So you've got your x1, x2, and y axes that are all changing in extent. And you would be zooming in or out on data um, using the middle mouse uh, drag. Okay. Um, the right mouse operates just like it usually does with a 2D plot. It gives you a context menu that you can pick and, and do certain operations from. You can change that in the application preferences, but we just will skip that for today. Um, all right, so the, there's also buttons up here that perform similar functions to 2D plots. Okay, uh, the panning uh, button does deserve some explanation, so I'll do so here. Um, if I click the pan button and click and drag the left mouse button. I'm basically panning my camera angle. Okay, So basically my graphing box or my 3D box moves around in space and I can position that however I like. And one thing that I did forget to show you um, which is quite convenient is this maximization maximize button up here at the top right which I find very convenient for dealing with plots of, of both 2D and 3D flavors but uh, you can very quickly enlarge the plot so that you're working with a full view of it and so I'll do that for the rest of the demo. Um, okay so we were on pan alright so left mouse changes the uh, left mouse and drag changes the camera angle alright a middle mouse and drag does nothing okay so there's nothing mapped to the middle mouse here the uh, right mouse okay is basically a transformation of, of the uh, of the axes in space to stretch them uh, however you find reasonable. Okay? And it does matter where you click and drag the right mouse here for this operation. If I click right in the middle, okay, I can if I drag left and right, okay, I'm mainly stretching the X1 and X2 axes there. If I drag upwards, I'm stretching the Y axis. So it's, it's reasonably intuitive. And it does matter where you click and drag Okay, so if I click and drag, sorry, right click and drag at the uh, left edge of this 3D box, okay, it's going to remain fairly fixed where I click and only transform those directions in which I drag just like we talked about before. So I can go ahead and click on the uh, right axis and do a similar operation. Okay, I'm clicking and dragging the right mouse. Okay, there at the top and here at the bottom. Okay. So it's, it's, it's fairly intuitive once you realize uh, what the function of the pan button is. Um, and again, a left mouse is going to, uh, to change your uh, camera direction. All right, now we have our uh, zoom operation here. Uh, it works just like 2D. Okay, so create a zoom box by left clicking and dragging. That'll zoom in. If you use the right mouse to create your box, it's going to zoom out. Okay. Um, Put that there. Okay, and uh, you know, auto scale works just like it does in uh, 2D as well. If you click auto scale, um, it'll look at your data. Uh, here, there's no data, so it just auto scale between zero and one on every axis. Um, but normally, it'll, it will look at your data to figure out uh, what the extent is, and uh, auto scale to that. 
Okay. So let's go ahead and compute a function really quickly. Uh, that's the easiest way to get something interesting to look at. Um, so uh, I like the sine cross one. I think that's an interesting looking function. Okay. So there's our sine cross. I'll let, again, enlarge. And, you know, we can, of course, perform our, um, our uh, zooming and panning operations there. Okay. And it is, you know, a good bit slower. It's got a lot more to do, a lot more to draw. Um, so the, the 3D plots, um, really, they're quite expensive to draw. Um, and that's, of course, being worked on. Uh, it is, I should disclose as well, uh, this does not use a 3D graphics card. It's all 2D drawing here. Um, so uh, it won't be accelerated by uh, 3D uh, graphics cards like NVIDIA or ATI cards. Um, one way that you can uh, cut down on the drawing cost is to uh, go ahead and right click and say properties and um, come over here to uh, lines and markers and select your series there which is the sine cross and turn the resolution down a bit. Okay, I tried to choose a resolution that was reasonable, looked good, and was and was uh, you know uh, reasonably uh, low cost drawing. But if you cut it down even further, you know the ease with which you can rotate your graphs and look at them is is certainly much better. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, change the extents of this graph. Okay, uh, this one. We'll go from minus 5 to 5 on the x1 axis and also minus 5 to 5 on the x2 axis. Okay, and here's what your sine cross looks like. Not the prettiest thing that I've ever seen. Um, certainly it's uh, the resolution's low uh, and the color map is a bit drastic there. Um, so we'll, you know, fix both of those things. Alright, so we once we get the view that we like, okay, we can bring the resolution back up if we're trying to make a presentation quality plot or something like that and choose a different um, color map here you know, there's quite a few different color maps to choose from um, so we'll do that and should change the uh, appearance of our plot there and you know it's, it's much smoother obviously and um, much more well suited for uh, uh, for making a picture or something like that but not as well suited for uh, manipulation. If I try to pan this, okay, it's ooh, it's a bit slow. All right. Okay, and uh, certainly harder to control. And obviously, you can ramp up the uh, uh, the resolution even higher than 75, which was what I put for this one. Um, and it'll will depend on the speed of your computer as far as how well these things draw, how fast they draw. Okay. Alright, well that concludes our demo. Uh, thank you for watching and until next time.